definitely a difference to the DJI system. This OSD is really good. And the colors on the OSD, beautiful. This is more what you'd expect from me, a live GoPro. Hi guys, till Melbourne has a rainy weather, I decided to record a small video. Today we're going to talk about Wok Snail OSD fonts. As you see on the screen, it is standard font which provided with version 2832.10. On earlier versions, it was even smaller fonts and it was hard to see on the screen when you're flying. Shannon Baker recently contacted me and kindly provided his best font which is useful not just for the Wok Snail and also tested multiple times on the iNav system for the planes. Let's go in through how to add additional font for the Wok Snail system and check that OSD font during the flight today. Installation process of the new OSD font should be pretty simple. We just need to pull out SD card, install it on the goggles, put it on the computer, upgrade text file and add additional font kindly provided by the Shannon, install back to the goggles and let goggles know that we wanted to use the new font for OSD. First of all, you have to go to the Cadex website, support, download center, scrolling down, you can find FS OSD font upgrade. Just download that file, unpack that file and put on your Vox Nail SD card. Font upgrade is the main file where is all links to the fonts exist. Second line count is how many fonts you have installed on your system. Currently we have two by default. And after the description for the each font uh, for the 720 and 1080p, we need to add extra information from Shannon to this file, put SD card on the box nail goggles and install those files. Let's have a look what Shannon provided to us. He provided zip file with the fonts and readme file. Let's have a look. Instructions pretty simple. Modify file font update ini, as I mentioned earlier. Insert SD card on the goggles and do some settings on the goggles. Let's unpack his zip file. Inside of the zip file, we can find two fonts, which is for the 720p and 1080p, and also some example with the font update file. Let's copy information from the update file to our SD card file. Simply open it, copy and paste to our file. Now we have to do some adjustments. Now we will have three fonts files. First two we will leave as it is. Third one I will call Shannon. Now we don't need this uh, additional section config because with everything we already add on the top. This section we will call Shannon. We need to save this file. And we also need to copy actual PNG fonts to the SD card. We copied new PNG files with the fonts. Also, we've done modification for the font file. Now let's install it and have a look how it looks like on the actual goggles. Now we installed SD card inside of the Voxnail goggles. We have to choose font upgrade. We're expecting to see three fonts. First two default from Voxnail. And third one, as we name it, called Shannon. Let's install that one. Just simply click OK. And now you can see how this font looks like. There are a bit bigger distance between letters on this font. It means that we need to adjust OSD for this font on the Betafly configurator. Just done some tiny adjustments on the Betafly configurator for the My OSD, and you can see on the screen it is exactly how I prefer. Obviously, your preferences will be different, and different information you require it on the OSD when you're flying. Now I'm going to pack all my stuff and see what other pilots are thinking about this OSD font and I will put their opinion next to this video. See you shortly. Yeah, actually this OSD is really good. And the colors kind of help. Yeah, the video is great. But yeah, the OSD is also, yeah, I like it. It's better than the DJI one. And the colors look great. Yeah, it makes it easy to find what you're looking for when they're colored. Because you can, with the bars being colored, I know which one I'm looking at. It's a very clear font, easy to read, 
I think it's got a little bit of a black background over the video which makes it stand out too. It's yeah, it's good. Yeah, this would be great if they had it on DJI goggles. I don't think we're ever gonna see that the way the system is, but it's absolutely sharp, magnificent, absolutely beautiful. The OSD, good design. Yeah, it's very nice. Absolutely. I hate to say this, but it's better than DJI. And I'm a DJI person. Absolutely magnificent. Love it. Better than DJI. And the colours on the OSD, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Brings her eye to it all the time, so it's good. Yeah, it's certainly a, a sharp uptick in resolution. Deeper colours. Yeah, this is more what you'd expect from a live GoPro, which is what they said about DJI and they were close, but this is this is that step further. Yeah, very good. Very impressive. It's a step forward for, for digital video, that's for sure. The user ability to modify the OSD is, is already there with this system compared to something like the DJI. Okay. Oh wow, yeah, it feels good. Definitely a difference to the DJI system. It feels very cinematic and the video is just excellent. But as you said, I guess when you're flying like really fast, really uh, close to the ground, I can imagine how you also see all of the details. Yeah, you get used to it pretty quickly. <laughs> I like it that you have, the goggles are very snug. You don't have like the, any light coming in from the sides. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, definitely an experience. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I like that the video is really sharp. Um, and But the one um, advantage of the DJI, I think, is the, the screen is like broader. You feel a bit more immersive. And this is what I like, especially for freestyle, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs>